And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action here for you. RWA at GCW's inaugural brawl. We've got the Hollywood Balls versus the student body. Chris Dozer and Cipriano Abruzzi have been on a roll lately since getting on the same page. As I predicted, they have been somewhat unstoppable, picking up wins over the OSI and the Influence. Whereas on the uh, other side of the coin, Nick Varsity and Jack Connor have uh, had their share of dissension lately, and it would uh, it would appear they've been on the rocks lately. Uh, but. They, they appear right now for the time being to be on the same page. We'll see how things develop as the course of the night goes on. Cipriano starting it off with Jack Connor, and well, I th this may be this may be part of the problem right here. Jack Connor out of his tree if he thinks he's going to beat Cipriano or Bruzzi in a test of strength. Many times Cipriano or Bruzzi has been called RWA's strongest man. I guess it comes down to uh, strength not being an issue right here, as the brains of uh, as the brains of Jack Connor rather prevailed in this one, but not for long, as you can see, as Cipriano is wrenching the arm. You saw much concern on the face of Nick Varsity yelling at Connor, "What are you doing?" And that is really where all the problems are coming from. Nick Varsity, as of late, has become more and more vocal and wants to be an equal member of this team still in his rookie year but has learned a, a, so much uh, over the last nine to uh, 12 months uh, not quite 12 months nine to 11 months varsity actually debuting late july Takedown by Cipriano Bruzzi now has the front chancery applied. Varsity looks very eager to get involved. And the Hollywood Balls, as as of late, been on the same page and really getting along, and they're showing why they have been so dominant. Looks like Manny Souza was getting in there to assist the referee in counting the three. They have really come leaps and bounds from where they were just months ago. Matching gear, double team tactics, and really on a winning streak. And they are truly a team to be reckoned hit with here in RWA and in GCW. You've got the power and the and and the brute force of Dozer, Cipriano. To say much of the same for him, but with with as much weight as he's dropped recently, he, he can fly around with the best of them. Oh, at velocity breaks up the pin. Fly around with the best of them himself. So it's really a it's a really a team to be reckoned with, as I said. Now. Those are daring Jack Connor to give him what you got. Varsity well, looking for a tag, and Connor says, No, I got this. And I can only believe that's going to lead to more dissension between the two of these guys. Well, Connor you may not agree with them, and I know Varsity doesn't all the time, but that you know he uses his brain when necessary, and, it, and it's worked out the last two times, outsmarting both Cipriano Abruzzi and Chris Dozer. But the smart thing to do right now would be to tag and get the fresher man in there. And there you have it, Russian leg sweep, and Chris Dozer going for the pin. I really feel like it's gotten to a point where Jack Connor thinks he knows it all and, and it's not the case. He's uh, become a bit too cocky and well, there's a pin, I'm sorry, there's a tag. Right behind him, Dozer doesn't realize it. There's a chop lock to the knee.
varsity choking Chris Dozer now while also doing a push up or two. Varsity has really improved so, so much. And I think, judging by the fact that he wants a bigger part in the team and, and for his voice to be heard, I think he knows it. Enough people tell you something, you're going to start to believe it. And, you know, it's in fact actually true as far as varsity goes. His, his um, ring awareness and, and his overall ability in the ring has come leaps and bounds over the last several months. Now a tag into Jack Connor, and he's going to continue to work on the knee of Chris Dozer. And there you see a DDT to the leg, and Dozer continues to be doubled over in pain right here. It really is a sound strategy to take the bigger guy off his feet. Going for the cover there, but Cipriano causing the distraction. And Jack Connor taking the time to choke out Chris Dozer. Although it did not lead to a three count right there, the damage still has been done. You see a big kick to the small of the back right there. And setting him up for that field goal kick. And as per usual, the kick is up, and it is good. Referee being very lenient with his five count right there. doing the wise thing, bringing Chris Dozer back to their corner. They are continuing to work over the knee with that vicious stomp right there. Very, very vicious. Manny Sousa trying to rally this crowd behind his team. Irish whip reversed. Duck two clotheslines, duck the back elbow. That drop kick was right on the money right there. And Dozer kicks out just barely. Another interesting fact I should point out is how all the fans have rallied behind the Hollywood Vaults. Chris Dozer not usually one to be liked by the fans. And secretly, I, I think he's uh, starting to like being, being the fan favorite here. You can see in the background, reaching, trying to get the tag, still somewhat far away, not able to reach. I don't even know that he has Dozer's attention. Dozer trying to do his best to get out of this figure of four leg lock. Dozer escaping and trying to make his way over to the tag. Nick Varsity, he saw that coming. Lured Cipriano Abruzzi in here and student body continues to work over Chris Dozer. I can't recall too many times where anybody's had their way with Chris Dozer quite like this. This forearm from Jack Connor. Back in the baby bull. Chris Dozer up to the corner now. Out of the corner he comes. Irish whip coming up. No, again reversed by Chris Dozer. 
and oh, I think that was a mistake right there. Oh, yeah, he just realized it. Belly to belly suplex sends Connor almost out of the ring. Nick Varsity didn't realize he tripped the wrong guy. And Irish whoop reversed. Perhaps Varsity too cocky for his own good there, not fully paying attention to what was going on. Had he been, he would have noticed that the Irish whip was reversed. And we're very close to a tag here. Tag into Cipriano Bruzzi and Connor saying, no, I got this. Don't worry about it. Not so much. Now Varsity comes in and Connor gets clotheslined. And now Varsity gets clotheslined inside out. Big power slam. Connor kicking out Varsity, trying to break it up just a little too late. Thankfully, Connor had kicked out. Now, all four men slugging it out in the middle of the ring. And the referee's lost complete control. Connor continues to eat forearm after forearm from Cipriano Bruzzi. Double Irish whip, noggin knocker sends them both down. The momentum sent even Chris Dozer down. This, this looks like it could be it. Connor going for a ride one more time. Sends him up, spares him down. And there you have it, the Hollywood Bolts victorious yet again here in tag team action at GCW. Hard fought victory here, and hopefully not a uh, lasting injury on Chris Dozer. A little bit of ice and elevation may do him some good. RWA Legacy right around the corner. They want to be at 100% or as close to as possible. And at the rate student body's going, I'm not sure if they're going to even make it to Legacy as a unit. You see Varsity in the background saying, I told you. If Connor had just tagged Varsity, would it have been different? I'm not sure. Whoa, what's, whoa, is this... What are we seeing the end of student body here? Varsity showing a lot of restraint here. And Varsity leaving his partner in the ring. Okay, folks, up next, we're going to go to highlights from the Battle Royal for the GCW Championship. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, 